Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 121. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about the difference between max underscore log dbcfg parameter versus num log span dbcfg parameter. The data files that I use, the scripts are all freely available at db2luwacademy.blogspot.in. This slide talks about the problem scenario. The problem scenario is we want to understand the difference between max log and num log span CFG parameters. Both can be used to restrict the filling up of log space by individual transactions. Uh, you can you can use it like a either max log and do not use num log span or either ways or a combination of both. You can use them individually or you can combine the two parameters and use them. Uh, according to your requirements. Now, the, the key difference between them is the way in which they are restricting the log space for a particular transaction. So if the restriction is based on application transactional log space consumed, that is like uh, for max log. So when you say, you, when you configure your max log parameter, you usually configure it as a percentage of your log primary setting. So if your log primary is, for example, uh, three. I'm, I'm just taking an example scenario. So three means three into four MB is the default. So 12 MB you get total 12 MB of log primary. So of that 12 MB, if you say 25%, uh, so which 25. So if you say max log as 25, then it is one fourth of 12 MB. That is roughly three MB. So um, I mean, it's exactly three MB, but the log file is uh, 4.2 MB. So I can, you, you, you do the math. Okay. So uh, the concept is it's a percentage of log primary and whatever you're saying, it will be taken um, as a consideration for individual transactions. See, that is an uh, important thing. So if there are, if there are uh, five transactions, each of those transaction, they cannot take more than that percentage of log primary. So it, it, don't look at it as the primary log files and secondary log files. It has nothing to do with primary log files and secondary log files. Um, it's just a measure of the space, that's all. So if your log primary is three and your max log is 25, then one fourth of that, right? So it's like 25 percentage. So 12 MB by four. So each transaction can go up to three MB, right? Now the num log span operates in a, a little bit different manner. So it is restricting the, the transactional log space uh, based on the transactional log span among applications. So why, why do we say like among applications means another application which is running will impact the transactional log space availability of some other application. So I think when, when you go into the examples, it will be more clear uh, and, and you need to understand the transactional log span. So I'm going to give um, a diagram here. So I've just created a, a image here. Uh, let me show that to you. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one. So, so, so you can see that the first box, so you, you are able to see the, there is a red line here, right? So this first box is like log one. Okay. S zero 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 dot log. The second box you see like the down, the down box, that's like log two. Okay. And each of this is a four MB like that you can you can imagine okay so the blue one represents some some transaction has started here some insert log records has happened it has completed here and it has still not committed or rolled back it doesn't matter okay so this is the transactional log space that has been consumed by transaction one the blue transaction and there is a red transaction so which is again coming back then there is an yellow transaction and there is again one yellow transaction i mean this is the same transaction running here okay so it has taken this much of space. Again, you can see after that, the transaction red is again generating few log records and it is put here. And there is a new application that is getting connected and it is again generating some log records. So this is how the log records are there. These each color represents one one transaction. And what the num log span says is like, see, this is my start of this red transaction, okay? So from this place to my current log position, so my current log position is currently here. Okay. It's at the bottom of this file. So if that is that distance is going to be beyond the configured num log span. So the num log span, if you configure it as one, so which means 
the default is 1024 pages so so roughly 4 mb right so between this this is the start of my the the red transaction and my current log position may be here maybe here maybe here it keeps on changing your current log position is your latest uh, thing right so it keeps on changing uh, and it will grow downward right so for this transaction red transaction the start is here and you, let's say your current log position is here the red transaction is allowed it's it's safe so if there is few few more log records that are generated i will allow that then my let's say this as my mouse my, my mouse moves down the current log will go on changing right so then from the start from the start of the transaction till my current log position you can see the space is increasing right so just go on go on go on and hit it this point okay maybe it is allowing okay because it is less than 1024 or something like that right and sometimes it may not allow so that's what i'm saying so it is spanning one log file of distance uh, more in terms of space between the start of the transaction and between your current log position so imagine this mouse as your current log position so if my current log position was here and the red transaction is generating few more records right it will be allowed okay because it can put it here and the space is also less than uh, 1024 right but if it as it moves on so you will find that maybe when it reaches at this stage you are crossing that 1024 right so this red block will be blocked actually okay so if your configuration is like that so maybe you can configure num log 2 so what i'm saying here is the significant difference is so your transaction 1 consumed only this much amount of log space rest of all these uh, tra- this uh, this log space was consumed by some other application but it can still affect the it can still affect this transaction right so it will roll back this transaction so the other application impact will be there in your num log span whereas when you look at your uh, when you look at your uh, max log it is purely space based see max log operates in a different way so max log will say only like you know this this entire thing right this is only taking uh, 25% uh, is this blue taking 25% of your log primary then you can allow it if it is more than that it will roll back the transaction it doesn't care about uh, you know the space between the transaction and the space between the current log sequence and all so it won't do those calculations and determine based on that so that's how num log span works but the max log works based on the individual transaction if this is exceeding more than the configured 25% of log primary this transaction will be rolled back and imagine like this transaction can be half here half here and half down the way after log 10 also right so who knows so it, the availability of this blue transaction can be spread across so many different log files it doesn't matter just the amount of space matters for max log whereas for num log span the position of the transaction in this list of log files that is that matters actually so based on that only it is deciding okay so that is the key difference between max log and num log span and you can use them like in a in a combination also okay so uh, so i just leave leave that scenario to you and uh, as usual uh, uh, we'll go with some examples to demonstrate the scenario so i already have the database uh, solo so it's configured with log secondary 7 log primary 3 so which means that's what i told so Uh, roughly 3 mb of transactions i am i am allowing with uh, 25 percentage so i think all these things are set but in any case i'll again set it okay so let's go to that let me go to the first one yeah update 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 okay done okay now connect to solo the table is already created i guess okay yeah I, i think the table should be already there okay so let's not worry about that let's connect so the two tables are there i'm just truncating so that i start with a you know fresh thing but you don't need require it then i start a monitor app and i try to monitor the applications okay i'm just trying to look at the uow log space used so i'll go to the second uh, this is my monitor app assuming okay now uh, all of them are zero okay 
so this is connected all of the transactional space all of the transactional space is zero you can see that okay then what i'll do i'll be running this uh 375.db2 it's going to insert few records into log underscore t okay so on the first terminal i just do that hit enter so go to your monitoring app look for the transactional log so application 12 has consumed 1.1.2 mb is what it has consumed right so I, it will allow till 3 mb right and it is independent of other transactions so what what i what i mean by that is i'll go and connect to another application okay so i'm opening up like a new application okay and there also i'm running this will also insert some records into some table let's go review that <clears throat> so that also has taken 1.2 mb so 12 has taken 1.2 mb 24 has taken 1.2 mb so it doesn't matter right so even if this this guy goes to 2.4 mb still this 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 will be intact it, there won't be any impact on that okay so it's so this individual application is taking only 1.2 this individual application is only taking 1.2 i'm not going to roll back anything i'm just going to leave it as it is okay now i'll just go back and run the same thing again in the old connection uh, that is app 1 so let's go so you can see it is reached 2.4 mb i think the third run it will not it will not allow see because you will be crossing actually it will become 3.6 mb but we have given only 3 mb right um, uh, one fourth that calculation so 3 mb so that another time it won't allow okay so let me go here do the same thing all the committed uh, things are successful so you can see here again run that so 2.4 2.4 now next the application 2 will be like you know you will see that it is getting forced off right so when i run this the next time gone okay now just come back here and see the application 2 so sorry application 12 is not there vanished it it got forced off because of the transactional uh, you know exceeding the transactional capacity or the configured restriction you know same thing will happen now here okay yeah it took a, lot, a bit of time but yes so it, it happened okay so now you will see 24 is also uh, forced off you know that's it so actually two applications were there so none of the applications are now there so the database also got deactivated so okay so that's the example for that's the example for max log so now we can go and look at the num log span example so for that I, i'm going to update the num log span as one copy that okay <clears throat> sorry about that okay so i'm just giving one so you can try with two also okay okay so now as usual you go and connect and you know i'm blocking some set of transaction okay i'm, I'm running a set of transaction which will consume 1.2 mb that doesn't matter okay so copy that come here paste that so hit enter and you should be able to see application 32 taking some amount of bytes okay so run all set okay and uh, here's the thing see this application is only taking 1.7 mb 1.17 mb right uh, which is not 3 MB of obviously right uh, which is well below 3 MB but it will get it will get uh, uh, what do you call it will get forced away or it will get you know forced out of the system uh, because some other transaction is consuming a log space and uh, and you are uh, kind of your current log position is moving away beyond the 1024 limit you know that's that's what I'm going to demonstrate now so for that what we will do is we'll connect to another application and uh, so this application is going to consume some i'm going to run like that okay so copy that go to the second one paste that okay let it run for some time okay I'm just doing that so you can see that the application 32 is still hanging on there right and um, Okay, I have committed, so I'm not able to see the other transaction. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll run, run as an uncommitted one. 
I'll show you that. Okay, see, this is my 43. Okay, so this 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 was the the second transaction. But you can see that 32 is forced away, right? See, there is no 32 anymore, right? So the other transactions which are running is impacting the previous transaction. It was not actually it was not consuming 3 MB, right? So it is well within the max log limit. But then the log span is increasing. See, this is what this is what is the difference. Okay. So since the log span the from the current position to the start of that transaction, the log span has crossed the configured limit of uh, one num log span one, which is one zero to four. Uh, 4k pages right so once you cross that limit your system here so you can see here if i come back and say list tables or something that's it gone i am forced off so this is the key difference between num log span and max log and you can use it in a combination also and um, uh, that's it so uh, i had a lot of uh, issues understanding this myself when i was a beginner uh, hope this information was useful to you and uh, Hope to see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2lewacademy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.